Hi guys, welcome to Boo Mag. My name is Sarosha and here with me today we have my mum Mally and we are doing a very special and exciting video which is a DNA reveal from 23andMe. What makes this video so special is that my mum was adopted at the age of four months old from Thailand so her background has been a complete mystery to us for 44 years. Stay tuned for the big reveal but before we do can you tell us a little bit about your background? Um, so I was adopted at from four months old and a British couple had stopped in Thailand on the way to Australia, decided to adopt a Thai baby. Uh, they found me and um, when I was a baby I had a couple of illnesses where they thought I wasn't going to be wasn't going to survive through the night. Hurrah, I have survived <laughs> and I am here um, talking to you guys and um, I got better and adoption papers had gone through and I was brought over by a British nurse to England to meet my new parents. So do you know, you don't know anything about your I know something about really. I what? know a couple of things about my my biological parents. Um, so uh, my mother was a young mother. I have apparently so what I've been told. I've got twelve brothers and sisters oh somewhere gosh. in this world, and um, my That's father crazy. was quite an older person as well. Um, my biological dad was a maintenance man and he met my mother while he was maintaining a block of flats in Bangkok and she was a housekeeper. Um, so yes, so that's, I, that's all I know and I know that my mother apparently, my biological mother apparently was from Chiang Mai. But I don't really know Which is northern more. Thailand. Northern Thailand, so I don't but know But she was born more in like a sort of like I, sw I swear you're born in the middle of the jungle outside of Bangkok somewhere so we don't yeah. really exactly know apparently so my adopted parents when they come to see me um, they had to be driven through some forest with um, and, and came to a little hut with lots of chickens uh, <laughs> running around and a rice paddy field behind. They saw me in a little hammock, um, crying my eyes out, weighing three pounds in weight, uh, and and a lot of children running around. My father wearing his sarong, and my mother, mm. who was also very ill at the time, um, couldn't get up unfortunately because she was extremely ill. Um, so yes, it was a very. Uh, it's a it's a good story, isn't it? It's, 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 a, it's one yeah. to like. People always ask, you know, oh, you have such a good accent, you know, English accent. But I mean, you do have a English accent. I do get people trying to talk to me as if I couldn't understand English. <laughs> Uh, you know, which is understandable. You I mean you look at yeah, me and they I, think I can't speak English mm. and then they talk to me and then when I talk to them, yeah, they're surprised. In overall I think people are just curious about the the whole story and I mean so are we. It's been mm. like we don't know anything uh, really about her background apart from the things that she just met has mentioned. I mean what we want to find out today is the origins of like her makeup, basically, well, isn't basically it? The, DNA. The, the origins of my ancestry. So, yeah. I all I know that my biological mother was brought up in Chiang Mai, yeah. or relatively from Chiang Mai, but my father was um, from Bangkok. But that's as far yeah. as I know. So both Thai parents, basically. Mm. To be honest, my mum, like, she doesn't really look like your typical Thai person, I don't think, and I've always said this. Um, I feel like when you're, you know, when you've got an Asian background, you do t tend to notice the differences. Um, so I would say there is something, maybe something else in her. But yeah, I mean, this is really exciting. How do you feel before we reveal? Um, I, I, I'd be, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. Um, a little bit... Uh 
not worried apprehensive i would say yeah um but it'd be interesting because i've had comments in the past from a lot of asian people thought mm. i either came from indonesia if i was chinese yeah you know not from thailand yeah, well it's also interesting for me as well because i'm half of this woman here so <coughs> it's kind of like it is it's just it's just been a mystery that's all i'm gonna say is like you know it's exciting i i really want to know but obviously my it's my mum's story so she is probably feeling way more nervous and mm. apprehensive than i am i'm just like open it let's see but let's i think it's out. good for you and your brother mm. you know your dad's side mm. but it's good for you guys yeah which is really... mainly scottish and irish on um our dad's side but it'd be good for you to know yeah. about my side exactly of DNA. because on my mum's side and my dad's side they're british english so yeah we do seem we are like the ones that stick out like a sore thumb but it's nice it's nice to be a little yeah. bit different isn't it just about to do it now okay so let's do it let's do it okay you what? ready yeah so ancestry report i think it is <gasps> oh, oh. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, this is so funny. What? We've got East Asian and Native American is 98.9%. .9%. So it's a breakdown, obviously. Hun uh, the the whole total Top result. Asian. Yeah, okay, <laughs> mum, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. So your hun our makeup is 100%, obviously. <laughs> okay, right, we this is just too crazy. It's very specific. You've got Bangkok, Thailand. And then Laos. And Laos. Go the down Bangkok. to the next one. Which is Vietnamese. Um, my mum is 24.7% Vietnamese. Twelve point eight percent Chinese Dai. Chinese Dai. Yeah. And then we go three point two are broadly Chinese and Southeast Asian. I think basically in the nutshell, guys, I'm actually eighty percent Asian. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> ancestry. Bengali and North East Indian is 0.4%. Coptic, Egyptian. Northy, Northy, sorry. <gasps> Bengali, that's Indian. Is it? Are and you... then Coptic, Egyptian is 0.4%. And broadly, Central and South Asian is 0.2%. What do you what do you think? You haven't got a lot of variety, which is the first thing that I noticed. Well, no, I think that's kind of to be expected. But what part of Asia is my ancestral mm. DNA? That was the key when a lot of people says, "Well, actually, you don't look Thai, or you look more Chinese, or yeah. you look more Indonesian." And that is what I wanted to find out. Yeah, really the real nutshell of where my DNA comes mm -hmm. from. If we go back on your profile, you've got DNA relatives. I don't know if... I don't know if it will... Ooh. Wow, I have distant relatives of 586. <sighs> I think that's just too many. <laughs> Cheek dimples, malleable genetics predict predict sixty two percent. You do not have cheek dimples, do you? No. <laughs> no, I don't, don't have dimples. Cleft chin, <laughs> malleable genetics predict ninety three percent chance you do not have a cleft chin. Thank goodness. <laughs> dandruff, um, malleable genetics predict seventy percent chance you've never had dandruff. <laughs> well, I don't know if I believe that in some way <laughs> earlobe type 80 percent chance you have detached earlobes yeah yeah earwax type 
93% chance you yeah. have wet sticky earwax. Which apparently I heard that is quite common for Asians. So yeah. eye colour, 75% chance of dog. Yeah, that's normal. 63% you have the chance you have freckles. Only 63% though. My mum actually has a lot of I have freckles. freckles. She's got freckles Can't all really over. See. Um hair texture. Oh, mum, 43 chance of slightly wavy hair. Well, I do have wavy hair. She does. And you get other Asians who have very straight, like sleek, dark hair. Um, but no, your hair's wavy yeah. and you've got freckles. I think that concludes the video. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and a subscribe to Boomag on YouTube. And stay tuned for more content coming soon on boomag.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone. And see you very soon. Bye. Bye.